It's been 32 days since test number two of Grease in the Groove with push-ups and things haven't been going all that well for me um, since that time. So I attempted a, another test, a test um, three, um, exactly five days ago and that didn't go well at all. Um, I've got the footage here, I'll put it up on the screen now so you guys can see it. Basically I got to around 20, 25 and I got really, really tired. And this is after taking one or two, one and a half days off from greasing the groove, like Pavel Tsoulin says. So I was frustrated um, and I kind of left me scratching my head there for a little bit. Um, I have done greasing the groove in the past and it has always kind of served me well. My previous best was like 60 odd push ups um, after a couple of months worth of uh, uh, doing push ups. So I was kind of frustrated. So even leading up to that test, um, I noticed that I wasn't really getting stronger. Um, as I was doing the push ups every single day, you know, multiple sets of 14. Um, I just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. Um, you know, the, the push-ups weren't getting easier um, as the days went on. So I was kind of skeptical about the, the test three. Um, and then, as I said, when I got to around 20 odd push-ups, I felt really tired and I thought I'll just give up there uh, rather than grind out another 10 because that wouldn't have been satisfactory for me. Like the previous test in test two was 42 and here I was struggling in the 20s. So I was frustrated, so decided to quit it, uh, you know, uh, before hitting absolute failure. Um, and so then I went back to the books and I, and I tried to change something to kind of um, get my gains back on the, on the road. So Pavel Tatsulin says one third to two thirds of your maximum repetitions is your working weight day in, day out. Um, so far, um, leading up to test two and leading up to test three, um, I was doing 30% of that. Uh, so I thought to myself, what if I increase my percentage to a higher percentage? Um, now, I have a couple of theories why my push-ups didn't increase using 30%. Um, and that's basically because I didn't do enough reps. Um, I didn't do enough sets. Um, my working schedule is such that I do 12-hour shifts. When I'm at work, I can't do push-ups. And so some days I go three or four days in a row where I don't do any push-ups in the middle of the day. Um, I will do a few sets in the morning, I'll do a few sets in the, in the afternoon after work, um, but that clearly wasn't enough, showed by my lack of progress. So I thought to myself, okay, I can't quit work, obviously, and a lot of you guys out there can't quit your work either. So you have to work around your working schedule. So I said, instead of me working with 30%, let's work with 70%. Now, 66% is two thirds. I just rounded it off. I'm sure Pavel Tatsulin wouldn't get too mad with me. Um, so I rounded it off to 70%. And for the last five days, I've been doing two sets, one in the morning and one in the afternoon using 70% of my max, um, which was around 30, 30 push-ups. Uh, I was doing 30 push-ups. So 30 push-ups in the morning, 30 push-ups at night. And after two days, I already felt like I was getting better. Um, so, if you're going to use 30% 30, 30%, you got to do a shit ton of uh, sets. You have to do, my estimation is over 10 sets a day. Um, if you have a job where you are working, say, in an environment where you can get away with doing push-ups, I work in a hospital in an emergency department, I can't just drop down and do a set in front of people. So that's out of the, out of the window for me. So I think 70% worked really well for me because it was a shit ton of push-ups and it was closer to my maximum. Um, and yeah, I'd get a little bit of a pump going each time I did a set. Certainly the, few, the first few sets that I did after my attempt um, with the third set, it was quite tough. Uh, for me to get to 30 was quite, quite tough. But after a few sets, I realized that I was getting that muscular endurance back and I could knock out these sets with relative ease, as 70% should feel. So today I decided to test again. Now this is not recommended to test so close um, together, like test three was five days ago and test four, uh, as you'll see in a second, was today. Um, I got down uh, in the morning, I had something to eat, and then I went, went and uh, tried it. So here's the footage. Um, I got 50. So that's quite impressive to me, given the fact that I only really made progress for the last five days. Now, since test two, to test three, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I still was doing push-ups, but it wasn't enough to kind of, to kind of um, provide that 
progressive overload that you need um, in this program, in, in, in any sort of physical endeavor. You need overload, some sort of overload to push you forward. Otherwise, the body will just get used to the stimulus they're providing and it will just not get better. So you kind of need to force the body to get better. So pro progressive overload is the key. So here I am, I did 50 uh, push-ups um, and basically it's halfway to my goal of 100 push-ups. <sighs> Going forward, I have learned my lesson. I will do 70% of my maximum repetitions of 50 push-ups today. So I'll uh, calculate that and I'll work that out. Um, and I'll go from there. Uh, I think it's around 35 push-ups if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, 35 push-ups is what I'll be working with. Um, I'm going to do a set in the morning, set in the afternoon. On my days off of work, I might do one in the middle of the day as well. So I'll, I'll be working with about three sets of push-ups during the day. Um, so there you go. Uh, I, th I still think 30% works, you just have to do more sets. 70% also works, but you have to do less sets because if you were to overdo that, then you will start getting into, you know, bodybuilding, muscular fatigue too much, you won't be able to recover. Um, so that's where I stand. Um, I'm kind of frustrated the way I said all this time doing something that wasn't really getting me gains, but my mistake is your lesson. So don't make that mistake. You still need to do a fair bit of volume um, uh, during the day. Um, even though I was doing five or so sets of push-ups with the 30%, it still wasn't enough stimulus um, to make me grow. Only a couple of sets of 70% provided me with a higher working intensity um, and that kind of gets me away with less basically volume, total volume in a day um, as I was doing with 30%. So, there it is guys. Um, hopefully I'll be testing again in the next 15 days. I know it was a long time between drinks for, the, for, for you guys between the last test and this video. Um, but hopefully in the next 15 days I'll make some better progress and uh, maybe I'll get 60 or 70 push-ups, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.